Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Ve salatu ve selamu Ala nabijina Muhammedin Ve ala alihi ve sahibihi ecmain Amma ba'd Fa'udhu billahi mineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbi işrah li sadri Ve yasir li amri Vahlul ukdatam min lisani Yafkahu kavli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajmain inşallah. May Allah subhanahu ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this session, dear brothers and sisters. This is a very fascinating lesson. Alhamdulillah, I have taught it over 25 times. And still, when I teach now, I'm fascinated by the <laughs> wisdom and farsightedness of our beloved Dr. Abdurrahim, the author of Medina books. How beautifully he makes the dialogues and puts everything inside in a way that is easy to understand. But this lesson is, in a way, vast. Why vast? Because everything that we studied from book one till now about Muktada and Khabar is coming back, but in much more detail and vastness. And it is fascinating. It's easy to understand, but because there are so many rules, sometimes you will tend to forget and i tell you from the outset now please don't worry learn as much as you can today i don't think i'll be able to finish this lesson in one session and and i mean and i really want that i will take two sessions so that everything i can explain you in detail with the result that you, every student, on your own, when you read it, you will understand it. And we have to do all the exercises, all the exercises, not to burden your mind with too much load. I always recommend, please take the help of Hello Tamarin. Take the help of Hello Tamarin and inshallah write every exercise and when you write your exercises with the help of hello tamarin my only request to you to think when you put harakat think am i understanding it inshallah the answer will be yes i'm understanding it alhamdulillah so i begin the lesson from the key huh? key key of Lesson number three. In this lesson, we learn more about nominal sentence. Nominal sentence. What is nominal sentence? If I ask you, if we were in a live class, you will all say to me, Jumla Ismiya. Huh? What is so special about Jumla Ismiya that it will have moved to the end cover? Huh? Okay. So, in this lesson, we learn more about Muftida and Khabar. Brother, we learned it for a long time. From book one, book two, we know nominal sentence very well. But now we come into detail. As you already know, the nominal sentence consists of Muftida and Khabar. Yes, we know the Muftida is a noun which you want to say something and khabar is what you have to say about it huh? remember muftada is the noun about which you want to say something and the khabar is what you have to say about it bilalun maridun in this sentence you want to speak about bilal yeah. so it is muftada huh? and the information you gave about him 
is that he is sick. So that is the khabar. The information you give about him is that he is sick. That is your khabar. Now, we never studied like this, you know, the way Dr. Abdurrahim is teaching us now. This is important rule. Both the Mubtada and Khabar are marfu. Very important rule. Remember always, Mubtada is always marfu and Khabar is always marfu. Okay, fine. About the Mubtada. Types of Mubtada. I have written here, number one, the Mubtada could be a noun or a pronoun. Remember, Mubtada may be a noun or may be a pronoun. Number one, Allahu Rabbuna. So Allahu is your Mubtada. Allahu is our Lord. Huh? So it is a proper noun. Huh? al kiratu Mufidatu. The reading is useful. So Kiraatu is your Mubtada. Al-Julusu, this is also a noun. Sitting here is prohibited. Julusu, al-Julusu, huna mamnu'un. Nahnu tullabun. So here, nahnu is a pronoun. We are students, you know. Number two, that was all about noun and pronoun. Number two, Master Mu'awwal. Yes, we know Master Mu'awwal, huh? inshallah. So when Master Mu'awwal, Mu'awwal will begin a sentence, that, that is your Muftida. Huh? Remember that. Huh? Quran will come with these examples. Huh? Atasumu, and that you fast, only that much, huh? and that you fast, is better for you is is best better for you and then and the fool and that you should forgive is nearer to piety or closer i would say it is closest to the piety okay nearer nearest or closest to piety so these are the Types of Muftada. Huh? Fine. The Muftada is normally definite. Yes, it is definite as in the following examples. Huh? Muhammadun Rasulullah. Ana Mudarrisun. Haza Masjidun. They are all definite. Now let's go one by one. Muhammad is a definite because it is a proper noun. Al Alamu. Remember Al Alamu, proper noun. Huh? Ana, Ana is definite because it is a pronoun. Remember, please remember, the pronouns are all of them definite. They are definite, you know. And then we have to define it that we are learning and we will be learning more as we progress in the dars. You know, Haza Masjidun. This is a mosque. Haza is a definite because it is Al Ismul Ishara. Huh? There it is. Ismul Isharati. Now, see how it is written. I would like you to understand it. Ismu Al Isharati. I want you to think about this. Ismul Isharati. And and compared to that, we'll say I write it because you should be very clear when you write Ismu Ishara, it is Mudaf Mudaf Ilehi. And then we say Al Al Ismu. Al Mausulu Al Maul Mausulu 
a li smu al mausulu okay i will still put a kasra here i want you to think very clearly here so that you have precise idea about ismu li sharati mudaf mudaf ilahi okay these are uh, haza haza ulaika and all those things we have learned tilka and then al ismul mausulu huh? this is relative pronoun huh? what is it relative pronoun relative pronoun huh? okay and this is demonstrative pronoun what is this? Ismu ishara is demonstrative, demonstrative pronoun. See, they are both pronoun, but one is called demonstrative pronoun. That is muda huda filehi, and the relative pronoun is a nat manut al ismu al mausulu not manut please remember important that you have a good idea about all these things inshallah and then we say allah we say Hazam masjidun now we say allah the one who ya budu ghair allah who worships other than allah is mushrik huh? so here allah is your mubtada and where is the khabar Mushrikun. So then, what is this? Ya budu gair Allahi, Allahi ya budu gair Allahi. We will define it, and that will be silatul mausu. Did you get the idea? This whole sen sentence, this verbal sentence, is a silatul mausu, and this is your khabar. Mubtida, khabar. Mubtida, Khabar, and Silatul Mausul. Inshallah. Al Quranu Kitabullah. The Quran is the book of Allah. Al Quran is definite as it is, it has a definite article, Al. Or we can say, Muhalla Bil Al. Muhalla Bil Al means it has been decorated with Al. Different ways of explaining. Everything is good. Whatever you say should make a sense out of it. Miftahul Jannati Mudaf Mudaf Ilehi Salatu. The key of Jannah is our prayers. Salatu. Alhamdulillah. The key to paradise is Salah. So mufta, mufta, Miftahu is definite. I don't see Al here. How can it be definite? And this Mudaf Ilahi is definite. Yes. This is definite. Mudaf Ilahi, so Mudaf is definite. We have to keep that in mind for all the time. Shall I say for the rest of our lives? Inshallah. Because our relationship with the Arabic language through which we understand the Quran will remain with us till the last breath we take on this planet. Inshallah. May Allah make it happen for everybody. Inshallah. So now we come to now here comes the circumstances that the Muftada may be indefinite. So what happens then? Huh? Muftada may be indefinite in the following circumstances, in the following circumstances, only in in these circumstances, Muftada will be indefinite. The most important is that if the khabar is a shibu jumla, shibu jumla, that means something a phrase or a sentence which is resembles 
a, a sentence, a phrase, or whatever you want to say, resembles sentence, but it is not sentence. Uh, for example, fil baiti, this is the phrase. So it's not a sentence. Alal maktabi, same thing. Kalmai, same thing. Same thing, my brothers and sisters. So now we have to define. I have said it many times, and I'll again explain you in my own way, inshallah. I'll explain you in my own way. <clears throat> Here, Dr. Abdraim says, if the khabar is shibu jumla, which is one of the two things, huh? but here he says shibu jumla. Prepositional phrase, like fil baiti, preposition, fi, ala, ka, or zarf, al yawma, gadan, tahta, fauka, inda, these are all zarf, but when it comes in the sentence, this is what makes it, you know, this in this case the khabar should be preceded, precede, should precede the muqtida. Then the khabar should precede the muqtida. Muqtida, if it is indefinite, will come late in the sentence. For example, here more explanation. Fil gurfati rajulun. See, rajulun is muqtida, but it is indefinite, it cannot come in the beginning. Fil gurfati. So what is fil gurfati? Prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase. And you will always translate like this. There is a man in the room. Now, rajulun fil gurfati. This is not a sentence. This is not Arabic. This is not Arabic. Rajulun fil gurfati. No. Fil gurfati rajulun. Keep that in mind, my brothers and sisters. Sometimes we can Without realizing it, you can make an error. The, here, the indefinite noun Rajlun is Muktida. And the phrase, yes, Shibu Jumla is the phrase. A phrase, Fil Gurfati, is the khabar. Another example, Li Akhun. See, Akhun, defin, indefinite. Akhun, indefinite. So, what is Li? Jar Majru. Shibu Jumla khabar. I have a brother, literary, literarily. There is a brother for me. Literally, there is a brother for me. Here, the indefinite noun akhun is muqtida, and li is your khabar. Tatal maktabi sa'atum tun tun tun. That is marfu, but it is indefinite. So it has to come late in the sentence. Tata, tatal maktabi under. The table. Huh? So you will again say there is a watch. There is a, in English. Huh? There is a watch under the table. So where is your Saatun Tatal Maktabi is not a sentence. This is not an Arabic. Saatun Tatal Maktabi because this is indefinite. It cannot come in the front. So it will be Tatal Maktabi Maktabi. Tatal Maktabi Saatun. Did you get the idea? Here, Saatun is Muktida and Zarf, only Zarf. Taita is Khabar, Shibu Jumla. Inshallah. Another sentence. Indana Sayaratun. Indana Sayaratun. So Inda is a Zarf. Okay, it will come in the beginning. Sayaratun is indefinite, it will come late. We cannot say Sayaratun in the north, it will not be Arabic. We have a car. Literally, there is a car. There is a car with us. There is a car with us, you know. So that thing we have to keep it in mind. So these are all the rules, you know, that. Dr. Abdurrahim would like us to learn and understand and remember so that when you enter the world of Quran, everything will become so clear and you will feel 
the supreme eloquence of the Quran in your heart, our heart, because of the knowledge of the language of the Quran. If the Muptada is interrogative, noun like man, ma, kam, uh, these nouns are indefinite. Now, you know, we just have to remember interrogative nouns, man, ma, kam, and there will be more. They are, according to the scholars of Arabic grammar, they are indefinite. Fine, just memorize it, you know, whether we understand thoroughly or not, just memorize it. The interrogative nouns like man, ma, kam, they are indefinite. Huh? They are indefinite and they will come in the beginning and I'll explain you more. Huh? See, here is an example. Ma bika, what is wrong with you? Now, if I tell you something, look at it, Ma. Look at it, Bika. What is Bika? With you. Bi jar ka damir, with you. Now, Bika is jar majrur, prepositional phrase cannot be muktada. So that what happens? Ma becomes muktada. Now, I have not encouraged you or I have not told you that we should analyze question. But now from now onwards, you will be able to analyze question slowly, slowly. Still, still we are in the initial stage of our understanding this thing. So you will have to look at the sentence, Ma Bika. Because Jar Majru, it cannot be Khabar. It cannot be Muftida. Has to be Khabar. Huh? Bika has to be Khabar. Huh? Here, Ma is Muftida, and prepositional phrase, Bika is Khabar. Fine. Man Maridun, who is sick? Huh? So, Man Maridun, so Man is your uh, Muftida, and Maridun is your Khabar. Here, man is muftida and maridun is khabar. Now, I have another idea for you. When you see the question mark, try to reply it. Man maridun. Huh? Suppose in the class, the teacher says man maridun, then this is just an example. Ana maridun. See the nam, huh? man change into ana. Or you can say huwa maridun. Huh? Huwa maridun. So then man is the muftida and maridun is the khabar. So as soon as you answer that question, the muftida and khabar becomes very clear to you. Kam taliban fil fasl. This is very beautiful. Come Taliban. Now, what is Taliban after come? What is Taliban? It's Mansub. It cannot be Muftida because it is Tamiz. Fil Fasli, Char Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. This is prepositional phrase. It cannot be Muftida. What is left now is come. So come is your Muftida. You can say, come, fill firstly, Taliban. You can say, come, fill firstly, Taliban, because Taliban is Mansub, so it cannot be Muftida. Here, come is Muftida, and prepositional phrase, fill firstly, is Khabar. Good. There are many more situations where the Muftida can be indefinite, and you will learn them. Uh, later, yeah, see, again, there are more things to be learned later on, but this is the beginning. Now, I assure you, I really feel like 
telling you, I promise you, but sometimes it doesn't, who am I to promise you something? I can assure you something that it will be a fascinating thing. This whole lesson, you finish it, understand it, and it will enrich your knowledge and it will make things easy later on as we progress higher and higher. Everything that we are learning in lesson 11 is fabulous, is fabulous. And we have to understand. So what I'm doing today, as much as I can do today, I will explain you everything. And then you on your own, read the lesson again, brother. You have to take some time out from your busy life as a mother, as a wife, as a husband, as a parent, you know, we must devote specific time to study the Medina book. Medina book will lay a foundation for you to grow on it and enter the world of Quran. So it is very important. And it is this is a never ending process, my brothers and sisters. I am been teaching uh, and I'm Sunday class, Quran. I have to study. I have to study all the time. But fortunately, I have, I'm retired. My children are grown up. I have no worries. My dal roti comes from the old age pension and everything. So I'm totally carefree. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings. We don't have to worry about if you retire right? after, after 65. Huh? After 65. So then uh, <clears throat> even the medicines are free. Doctors are free. Brother, what is this? Why, what kind of a country is this? Huh? Everything free? We are very fortunate. So then we should become serious in our lives. Huh? To do something for Islam, for Quran, whatever we can. Otherwise, we only we will be very selfish people, only doing things for ourselves, not worrying about the community, not worrying about spreading the Quran to others, not worrying about teaching what I have learned to others. Here is a little joke. I had a sister. She come, sometimes comes in my class. Sister Khalida Mirza. So we were very friendly. I used to teach there in Stowville Masjid. So I think the discussion came and uh, I think she asked me, or uh, have you become senior citizen? I said, yes, Sister Khalida, I am past 65. No, I am a senior citizen. So she said, then you have become a damad of the government. <laughs> I laughed at that. What, is, what did you say? Damad means son-in-law. So once you become 65, you become son-in-law of the government. Everything is provided now, you know. Alhamdulillah. So we have to organize our life in a way that we can do all these things for studying Arabic, for studying Quran, and not to pay too much attention to the movies or other things, you know, on television, because they take our time away. And we have no idea how much time we can lose by sitting in front of television and watching hours and hours. So inshallah, we will all be careful. Okay, <clears throat> the order of Muftada and Khabar, in what order they will come in the sentence. Normally, 
Normally, the Mubtada precedes the Khabar. It comes in the front. Anta Mudarisun. Yeah, like Anta, Mubtada, Mudarisun, Khabar. But this order may also be reversed. A Mudarisun Anta, when you ask a question, you can say like this. You can say Anta Mudarisun, but the more eloquent becomes a Mudarisun Anta. Are you a teacher? And here is another example. This is strange. Haza Ajibun. Haza Ajibun. Muftida Khabar. You can say Ajibun Haza. Permissible. Huh? But the Muftida should precede the Khabar if the Muftida is an interrogative pronoun. Yeah. If the Muftida is interrogative pronoun, which is indefinite, then it should all interrogative pronouns are indefinite, then it should come in the front. But it has to come. Ma bika, here ma is muftida. You cannot say bika ma, because ma is indefinite. You cannot say bika ma, no, no. Ma bika, what is wrong with you? Man maridun, who is sick? Got the idea, inshallah. And the khabar should precede the muftida if the khabar is interrogative pronoun, yes. If the khabar is interrogative pronoun, then it should precede the muftida. Masmuka. So here, ma is khabar. Now I, I ask you something. When a situation like this comes, masmuka, and you cannot figure it out, answer the question. Masmuka. Huh? So then you will say, Ismi Hamidun. So see, Masmuka. So here, Ma is a khabar. Because when you answer the question, you say, Ismi. So if this is Muftida. When you answer the sentence, Masmuka, you say, Ismi Hamidun. So then Ismi becomes Muftida and Hamidun becomes khabar. So Ma is a khabar. You should proceed, yeah. Shibu Jumla and Muftida are indefinite. Okay, if the Shibu Jumla and Muftida, Shibu Jumla and the Muftida is indefinite. Huh? If the Muftida is indefinite, two together, huh? I'll, and the khabar should proceed muftida. Huh? Yes. When? When there's a shibu jumla and muftida is indefinite. We did it, but we'll do it again. Fil masjidi raju. Rijalun. Fil masjidi. We said before, fil masjidi rajulun. Now we say, fil masjidi rijalun. Men. There are some men in the mass, you know. Your translation in English will always be like this. There are some men in the masjid. Amam al-bayti shajaratun. See, Amam al-bayti. Amam, my brothers and sisters, is a zarf. So you will say Amam zarf, shibu jumla, khawar, al-bayti, mudaf ilayhi, shajaratun, is a muftida and it is indefinite. Then translation will be, there is a tree. There is a tree in front of the house. Please remember, huh? if you want to translate nicely, then you will say, there is a tree in front of the house. You know. Now, this is another feature. The omission of muftida, the khabar. The muftida or khabar may be omitted, may be omitted. It is also possible. In reply to the question, Masmuka, what is your name? You just say Hamidun. You did not say Ana Hamidun. Just said Hamidun. No, Hamidun is a khabar. Huh? You will say Ismi Hamidun. Masmuka, Ismi Hamidun. But you did not say Ismi. So that is also permissible. Huh? This is a khabar and muftida. Yeah, this 
is the khabar in Muqtada has been omitted. This is the khabar and the Muqtada has been omitted. Huh? Huh? Muqtada has been omitted. Huh? When you say Hamidun, that is your khabar only. And the Muqtada has been omitted, which is Ismi. Did you get the idea? In reply to the question, Masmuka, one may say Hamidun, this is Khabar. Hamidun is a Khabar. And Muqtada has been omitted. Ismi. The full sentence is Ismi Hamidun. But you did not say Ismi. Okay. Similarly, in an answer to the question, Man Yarifu, who knows? One may say Ana, here the Muqtada. This is the Muqtada. And the Khabar has been omitted. The full sentence is Ana Arifu. So if the question is asked, man yarifu, you only say ana. Uh, so the ana, you did not say arifu, this is your khabar. Uh, this is jumla, fiyaliya khabar, you know. Now, see, see, so much to go through and I am trying to, I'm trying to go through it, but, but only up to here I will go through. And then we will go to the main lesson, huh? inshallah. Huh? Now we learn about the khabar. There are three types of khabar, mufrad, jumla, and shibu jumla. Now I have always said in my lessons, uh, when I teach this, from the very beginning to make things simple. Because in the beginning of our study, our mind is not matured. And I would like, I always wanted that I should make it simple, simple, simple. So I always say, there are three types of cover. I say, no, there are five types of cover. Five types of cover. You will say, how come when the Dr. Abdurrahim says there are three types and you say five types, then I explain. Huh? And inshallah, tonight I'll send you the video of lesson 11. I have a request, my brothers and sisters. If you get the time, watch that video. It is about one hour and 45 minutes. I'm explaining everything in detail. Watch it in two parts. You will like it and it will just strengthen your understanding. Okay, my brothers and sisters. So here, let us now understand what Dr. Abdurrahim wants us to understand. The khabar can be mufrad, one thing, one noun. Khabar can be one noun, okay? And then it could be jumla. But now the jumla are of two kinds. Do you understand? Two kinds. Jumla ismiya or jumla failia. So one and two, which makes it three. And shubu jumla is also of two kinds. Prepositional phrase and adverbial phrase. So two and two and one, that makes it five. That's the way I start teaching from early in the book one, book two. And now we are strong, we can understand, we can digest even that there are only three things. Mufrad, Jumla, yes, two kinds of Jumla. Shibu Jumla, two kinds of Shibu Jumla. Number one, Al-Mu'minu Mir'atul Mu'mini. The believer is the mirror of the believer. There's a deeper meaning in it, huh? deeper meaning in it, when a, the moment becomes a mirror for the other moment, because in that moment, when he compares himself, then he can see, like in the mirror, that there are some defects in my face or in my hand or where, whatever you want to say. So then, this is Muftada. And this is your khabar mira'atu. This is a mudaf. So one, one word, mira'atu. Huh? 
Now this is a Jumla. Bilalun, okay, fine. Bilalun, give me some more news. Abuhu Wazirun. So Abuhu Wazirun, Muftada Khabar, this whole sentence becomes a Khabar for Bilal. We have done many times, you know. Here, Bilalun is Muftada. And the nominal sentence, Abuhu Wazirun, is the Khabar. And this sentence in turn is made up of the Muftada and the Khabar. Uh, complex, you know. Here is the another example. Al Mudiru Masmuhu, uh, the headmaster. What is his name? So Masmuhu is a Muftada Khabar on its own, and this is your Muftada number one. I always said like that. We will do it again, inshallah. Here the muftada is mudir. And the nominal sentence, yes, nominal sentence. Remember, nominal sentence is the khabar wherein ismu is muftada and ma is khabar. At-tullabu dakhal. The students entered. Here, tullabu came in the beginning. Uh, so it is Muftida. And where is the Khabar? The verbal sentence. The Khalu. They entered. The students, they entered. Uh, but we say in English, the students enter. Here is another example. Wallahu and Allah. Okay, tell me more about it. Khalakakum. He created all of you. So Wallahu is Muftida. And this is Jumla Failia. With fail and file and mafulun bihi, khalakakum. So here, Allah is muftida, and the verbal sentence khalakakum, He created you all, is khabar. The shibu jumla, as we have already seen, is either a prepositional phrase or zarf. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdu, muftida. Where is the khabar? Lillahi, Jar Majroor, Jar Majroor, Shibu Jumla Khabar, Alhamdulillah. And here, Alhamdu is Muqtada. Yeah, Alhamdu is Muqtada. And prepositional phrase, Lillahi, is Khabar. And it is in the place of Fimahali Rafin. Then we'll say Fimahali Rafin. I will be saying it, inshallah. You will become masters. I want you to enjoy saying those grammatical expressions. I really want you to understand. And with a little practice, you can say it. You know, remember, I did not learn all these things in one day or one week. It took me quite a bit of time, you know, to master it. So you will also gradually master it. I give my example to you to show you that I am like you. I was like you. I worked hard and I prayed to Allah to help me and guide me. And he did help me and guide me. He sent so many beautiful people in my life, the teachers who were so kind to teach me everything. Now I am in return uh, paying my gratitudes to Allah and to the teachers. I am teaching you. You will one day stand up and teach others, inshallah, even family members. But we should say and express everything properly. Alhamdu is a muftida, and the prepositional phrase is khabar, as in the place of fi ma'ali rafin. So we will say what we will say. Lillahi jarun wa majrurun, and then you will add fi ma'ali rafin khabar, yes. That will be finally added. Eh? Al Jannatu. Oh, 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 oh. Allah, this is the, I think, from the Hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al Jannatu, paradise. Where is paradise? Eh? When you say Jannatu, people always look up. But the Hadith says, look down. Where shall I look down? Look down to the feet of your mother. Acha. So the Jannatu Tahta Kdami Ummahati 
they are under the feet of mothers, Ummahati. So if I take a, uh, something and start digging where my mother is, I won't find that. It means you should respect your parents, your mothers. You should be kind to your mothers because the Jannat lies under her feet. That means, you know, that she will pray for you and to Allah so that we will get Jannah. If we make our parents happy, especially our mothers, Al-Jannatu Tahta Aqdam al Brother, this is so nice, my brother. Alhamdulillah. We must remember this always, always remember. Now, if I were to analyze it, I'll say Jannatu Mubtida. Tahta huh, is a khabar, is a zarf, and it is mansu, and it is a shibu jumla. Huh? It is a shibu jumla, and it is female raffin. So I will say al jannatu mubtada. Taheta zarf, shibu jumla, huh? khabar. Akadami, because this is mudaf, so akadami, I will say uh, mudaf ilahi. Wahua mudaf and ummahati mudafile. The jannat lies under the feet of mothers. Always remember, always remember, always remember. When our parents are alive, uh, the Islam teaches us to respect them, to look after them in their old age as they looked after us when we were helpless, tiny small children uh, so now if we look after our parents then the Jannat lies under their feet inshallah Allah will give us Jannah to all of us inshallah agreement between Mubtida and Khabar yes Mubtida and Khabar agrees in what way in number and in gender in number and in gender al mudarisu waqifun so al mudarisu is what the mudaris is standing now make it mourners al mudarisatu what will happen to waqifun it will become waqifatun did you get my point it's not there but i'm giving you an example al mudarisu al mudarisu waqifun make it mourners al mudarisatu what will happen to Waqifun? Waqifatun. At-Tullabu Jalisun. At-Tullabu, plural. The Khabar is plural, you know, in numbers. Huh? And then Bab al-Fasli. Mughlaqani, see? Number, number. Bab al-Fasli is two doors. Huh? So actually, we have done it, so I'll write down here. Ba Bani Al Fasli. Now, Ba Bani, my brothers and sisters, Mudaf Mudafile, noon has to go away. So we say, Ba Bal Fasli, Ba Bal Fasli, Mughlakat, Mughlakani, they are close here. But Nafizata, who Maftuhani? Nafizatani, Nafizatani, noon went away. Maybe I should write down here. Na fi zatani, tani. And plus, who who goes to the fasl? Fasl. Huh? And now, because there is mudaf mudaf ilahi, I have to take this out. So nafizata who nafizata who see nafizata who I drop the noon nafizata who maftuhatani. Huh? That must match. Dual 
dual, plural, plural, inshallah. We see here if the Mubtada is singular, the Khabar is singular. Yes, yes, this is important. If the Mubtada is singular, the Khabar is singular. If it is dual or plural, the Khabar is also dual or plural. In general, yes. That's it, brother. I'm going to the front of it, inshallah. Hamidun Muhandisun. Now in gender. Masculine. Masculine. Zawjatuhu. Zawjatu. Feminine. Tabibatun. Ibnahuma. His sons, this is masculine, Tajra and he must match. Huh? Number, number must match and also the gender must match. And Bintahuma, Bintani, Huma, Bintahuma, Budari Satani, Budari Satani. So see, feminine, feminine, masculine, masculine, feminine, feminine, masculine, masculine. We should match. Alhamdulillah. Now there is a lot more, but no, let this is enough for today because we have to do exercises. I will request you to do all the exercises. Take a clean sheet of paper and try to do it. You all have the Madina books. Look into the Hallo Tamarin, see how they are defined, how they are the questions are. Questions are answered. I will also do the homework and present you next time in more detail, inshallah. By next week, we'll inshallah finish the lesson. If we finish the lesson early, we start lesson 12, inshallah. Now, next week, remember. The clock is changing tonight, going back one hour. So from next week honors, our Saturday class will be at one o'clock, one, two, three, till further notice. I hope you will all come. Uh, remember your sacrifice of coming to the class, spending nearly two hours, Brother, I consider this uh, as an act of worship. This is ibadat. Uh, we do it to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is a reward for everyone, for you and for me, waiting for us. Allah is going to reward us. That is my strong belief. You know that if we learn something, which will benefit us to understand Quran, that is all ibadat. Act of worship, eh? one of the act of worship. Now we come to, where are we? Book three, key, we did key. So now we come to the text. Yes, now we come to the text. Now I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay attention, inshallah. I'm watching the time. We may finish the class 15 minutes early because I think at quarter to four, Azan will go. And I do not wish to be teaching while the Azan is going and we'll stop, inshallah. So now read with me and understand. Atullabu Budaris. Atullabu. Atullabu, fine. What is Tullabu? Kaliluna. Kaliluna. Kalilun. Kaliluna, I should say. Atullabu is Muptida. Huh? Prudal. It should match in number and gender. Kaliluna. So this is your cover. Huh? The, the teacher said the students are few. There are few students in the class. Atullabu Kaliluna Muftida. 
אין חבר. אין אל אחירונה, אחרונה, אין אל אחרונה, ולאר דה אדרש. ואר איזה אינה, איצה זרף. שהוא איזה שיבוא ג'מלה חבר. אל אחרונה, אין אל אחרונה, because of the question, we put it אינה here, אין אל אחרונה. Where are the others? Al-Akharuna, you can say. Change it. Al-Akharuna, Aina. The others, where are they? Aina. Now, this is the beauty, a fascinating, fascinating beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim. I've been teaching for so long and I, I still I'm fascinated by it, and I enjoy it, and I love it, and I smile while I'm explaining this, and I want you to feel that way also, you know. We said five times, huh? Khabar is of three kinds, remember? Uh, but I say, let us say five times for the time being, huh? Okay. Umar, ghaibun. Umar is absent, huh? Muftada, khabar. Ghaibun is one word, mufrat. Amidun in the Mudiri. Shibu Jumla in the Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Amidun Mubtida. Shibu Jumla Khabar. And Al Mudir is Mudafilei of Inda. Right? Always don't say in the Al Mudiri Khabar. No. Khabar is only in the. And Mudir is Mudafilei. Well, Ishaqo Muftida Fil Mirhadi. He is in the washroom. So here, people, here this is a Shibu Jumla adverbial phrase. Adverbial phrase. This is adverb. And here it is prepositional phrase. Fil Mirhadi Jar Majru. This is Zarf. Well, Hashanu. So we got here uh, number one, one, number two, number three, and well, Hassanu and the Hassan. What about him? Give me some good news. Zahaba ila Gurfatil Murakibi. He went to the room of the supervisor. So here, Jumla Felia. This is Jumla Felia. Is coming as a khabar, you know. And then was Zubairu and the Zubair. What about him? Give me some news. Akhuhu maridun. His brother is sick. So this is Jumla Ismiya. This is Jumla Felia. This is Jar Majnur prepositional phrase. This is adverbial phrase. And this is Mufrat. So see, one. Two, three, four, and five khabar. Did you get the idea? So I'm defining it as a five. But whatever you want to make it as easy for you, do it, my brother. Wakad starzana mudira zahabi ila mustashfa. Wakad this starzana al mudira. Zahabi ila al Mustashfa. He is Tazana from 10 to seek permission. Kad men, when you say he has already sought a permission from the Mudir, so this is your Mafulun Bihi. This is your Mafulun Bihi. This is your Mafulun Bihi. Fiel file is for for going to the mustashfa. Fi zahabi ila al mustashfa. Now now comes mazabihi. Mazabihi. I have written here istazana means to seek permission. Mazabihi. What is wrong with him? So bihi is. Shahar Majur cannot be Muptida, only Khabar. What is Muptida? Maza. 
what is Mahasa? Interrogative, uh, interrogative pronoun. Huh? Mahasa. Now again, here question, here is an answer. Bihi Magsun. Huh? Magsun. No, you cannot put we cannot say maksun bihi. No. You cannot say maksun bihi. You have to say bihi maksun. Why? This is indefinite. Char maju shivu jumla came first. This is uh, muftira. Muakhar because it came late because it's indefinite. Now remember, maksun means stomach pains. Huh? Colic, stomach spins, colic, drives. So Abdul Razak said, Bihi Maksun. Yad Khulu Hamidun, fine. Vaisaku, Vajajli Sani, and they said, Fi Makadai Hima, Makadai, Si Yajli Sani, Fi Makadaini. You can say Yajilisani fi makadaini. But when you say put hima, then the noon has to go away. I'm again trying to revise and explain to you. When you read it, feel it that there's a noon between these two things here. There's a noon that was deleted, so it became makadai hima, inshallah. Al Mudaris Ya Hamid Kanaka Turidun Takula Shayen. It seems you want to say something to me. Kahal Ladaika Swalun. Do you have any question? Al Ladaika Swalun. Nam Ana Matlubun. Muftada Hamar. Ana Matlubun. I am wanted. Talaba Yatlubu Matlubun. Ana matlubun, I'm wanted, or you can say I'm needed, or you can say I have been demanded. Alana filnadi riyadati, sports club, sports club. Nadi riyadati, sports club. I'm wanted in the sports club now. Afa adhabu am ahedaru darsha. Therefore, it's the form for asking question. Fa is therefore atfin. And then, am ahedaru darsha. Shall I go or shall I be present in the darsh? No, I have said many times, but I will again say it here. If there is a Hamza there in the beginning, Hamza, Hamza tul istifam for asking question. Uh, and if you put Harfu uh, Atfin, Hamza will not allow. Uh, Hamza will not allow. So Hamza goes in front of it. Hamza is like Queen Victoria. She doesn't want anybody in front of her. So Harfu Atfin comes afterwards. Afa Azabu, you cannot say Fa Azabu, no. Afa Azabu, she acts like a Queen Victoria now. Am or Ahedaru Darsha, such a beautiful uh, way of teaching us, my brother and sister, Al Mudarisu. An tahduru, an tahdura, an. This is harfu naspin bar. Masterian. Uh, it made it mansub. An tahdura hadara yaduru, an tahdura darsa, khairun laka. So an tahdura is your mubtada shib. This is your master muawwal. Master Mual Muftida and Tahdura Darsha Huduruka Darsha. What is it? Your presence in the Dars Huduruka Huduruka. Your presence. Huh? 
Ahadara Yaduru to be present, Huduruka, your presence is better for you. Yumkinuka Zahabu ilal Nadi fil Fushati. Perhaps you can go to the club in Fushati means in the tea break between lessons at school or university tea break. Huh? Now I ask you something. Very beautiful sentence has come. So I want to talk about it. Yumkinuka. Amkana Yumkinu. It is possible. Huh? So this is your fail mudarya. Marfu Pidamma. Where is the file? Is this the car file? No. It is joined here. Uh, so this becomes Mafurun Bihi. Where is the file? Azahabu. You're going. Huh? Going. Ilanadi. Zahabu. This is your file of Jumkinu. And Ka is Mudafili. I thought I should explain it. It's very interesting. Think about it. Jumkinu. Ka. Write it down. And Zahabu. Separate. So Jumkinu. Is fiel, what is ka? Mafulun bihi, what is zahabu? Fail. So if you write down separately, brothers and sisters, on a piece of paper, jumkinu, fellow mudarion, marfun bi dhamma, write down all these things. Ka is damirun, mutasilun, mafulun bihi, fi mahali nasmin, if you want to go one step more. Zahabu, is phylon marfun bi dhamma. That's the way you should understand in Shan. Yadhula al Hasan. Al Hasan enters. Wa bi yadihi ulbatun. See? Bi yadihi ulbatun. So this sentence, dear brothers and sisters. Wow is her fourth friend. Bi yadihi ulbatun. So this is prepositional phrase and this is your muftida. Uh, ulbatun. See, ulbatun came late. Why did it come late in the sentence? Why Why we did, uh, Dr. Abdurrahim did not write yad khulu hasana no, that will be wrong because this is indefinite. It is indefinite. It has to come late. This is Shibu Jumla. We have shared Yadi Isam Majroor, Wahua Mudaf, and He Mudafili. Mazafi Ulbati Hasnu. What is in that box? O Hassan, Al Hassanu, Fiha Tabashiru. Oh, oh, oh. Look at it, brother. Tabashiru means chalk, you know. In those days, these books were written more than 50 years ago. We, we had a blackboards and the chalk, white chalk. Fiha Tabashiru. Look at the sis. What is fiha? Jar majru shibu jumla khabar. Why did it come in the beginning? Because tabashiru is indefinite. It is indefinite, so it has to come late. Jar majru shibu jumla khabar. And tabashiru is muftada. Huh? Indefinite. I have written here indefinite. Yadkhulu. Al Murakibu Yadkulu Al Murakibu The supervisor enters Mahu Talibun Jadidun. So I am again writing here a sentence and with him is a new student. And with him is a new student. So why the Taliban is coming late? Because it is it is indefinite. 
We cannot say, Vatalibun Jadidun Ma'ahu. No, no, we cannot say that. But Ma'ahu has to come here because it is indefinite. I want you to think about it. Everything we must think, you see. I say many times, and I repeat it again, our dars is a mental gym. Huh? It, we stimulate our mind. Huh? Like uh, mathematics or geometry class, you know. Uh, it's a mental gym. You know? So here, Vamahu, this is your Ma Shibujumla Khabar. It's a Zarf. Who mudafilei talibun muftida jadidun naat, you know. So mahu talibun jadidun, why it came talibun jadidun late? Because it is indefinite. Who sallimani, sallama you sallimu, who are you sallimu, whom are you sallimani? They say, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sallama you sallimu. Maybe I should write down that. Salama you you salimu huh? to say salam alaikum. One meaning, there are more meanings. If you put harjar with it, the meaning can change. Al Muraku. Haza talibun jadidun. Haza muqtida. Is it definite? Yes, the Talibun is indefinite. Jadidun is also not indefinite. Huh? Why Haza is uh, uh, in the front? Because it is definite. And Talibun is indefinite, it cannot come in the front. Haza, brother and sister, Ismu Ishara. Hmm. Huh? I'm just trying to tease you now. Ha-za. If I d remember, there's an alif there, there's nothing on alif, so you cannot say nothing. Nothing means there is no vowel sign. Fata, dama, kasra. But if they, if any letter of alphabet doesn't have fata, dama, kasra, then be sure. You must understand there is a sukun there. So if I have to talk about analyzing it, inshallah, that's the way you will do it. And I want you to get used to it. And I'll help you. I'll hold your hand and take you through all these things so that you all, all, all of you become very proficient. There is my prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you should become very proficient. Aza. Ismu ishara. Ah, fine. Mabniyun ala sukun. Fi mahli rafa'in muqtada. That will be the way you will define it. Inshallah. Al mudaris. Ahlan wa sahlan. See, even in this last thing, even in the last thing, uh, we have, I think I will only complete up to here. And then the rest of the thing, exercises we'll do next time. And you should try to do it at home on your own. And I promise you, I assure you, you will find it easy. You will find it easy. Read both uh, key and dars, main dars. You'll find it easy, inshallah. So, Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome. One day we will analyze this also. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome. Kaifa haluka? Kaifa haluka? So you see, haluka, I highlighted it. It has a dhamma. So this has to be muftada. Halu. Muftada ka mudafilehi. Alu muftada wa huwa mudaf ka mudafilehi. Kaifa is for asking a question. So this is your khabar. Khabar. 
Chabad. Kaifa Haluka. Because you're asking a question, Stefan, so you cannot say Haluka Kaifa, Kaifa Haluka. So this is your Chabad. And it is Harfu uh, Stefan, you can say. Muftida Mudafili. Now, see the amazing thing here. Kaifa Haluka. The Mudaris is asking the student, Kaifa Haluka. What does he say? Be Khairin. Ah, be Khairin is a Jar Majur. The Shibu Jumla Khabar. Where is Muftida? Ana be Khairin. Ana be Khairin. The Ana is my Zub. He didn't say Anna. This is Jais, you know, this is permissible. Anna, be khairin, he didn't say. Kaifa haluka, even sometimes we can say in our talk, you know, Kaifa haluka, be khair, be khair. It means Anna, be khair. So Anna, Muptida, Maizu. Walhamdu, Muptida, definite. Lillahi Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. See, Muftida and Khabar are Marfu, Marfu Ani. So, Alhamdu Muftida Lillahi Khabar Jar Majurun Shibu Jumla Fi Mahali Rafa'in Khabar. That's the day we'll do it, inshallah. Al Mudaris. Masmuka, what is your name? So, this is your Muftida, and this is your Khabar, Istifam, uh, 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 pronoun Istifam, asking question, interrogative pronoun, you can say. What is the answer? Munir. He did not say, it's me Munir. So he, Munir, what is Munirun? Khabar. Where is Muftida? Ismi, Mazuf. Did you get the idea? Look at it, brothers. Look at it very clearly. Huh? Look at it very clearly. Yeah. Masmuka Munir. That is also, we do it sometimes when we are asked. Masmuki Zainab. Or Masmuka, Hamid. So Ismi, Munir, or we did not say. Al Almaniu Anta, are you from Germany? Al Almaniu Anta, what did he say? La Britanniu. He did not say, I'm from uh, Britannia, England. So La. Anna Britannion, he should have said Anna Britannion here. Huh? He should have said Anna Britannion here. Here. Huh? Okay. So he didn't say that. Aina darasta lugatal arbiata ya munir darastuha fi madrasatin islamiyatin. Madrasatin islamiyatin. Afi Britannia, Madarisu Islamiyatun, are there uh, Islamic schools in England? Naam. Kam Madrasatan Hunaka. See, now look at this sentence. Kam Madrasatan Hunaka. After Kam comes Tamiz. So this is your Tamiz. This is your tamis. Huh? Okay. Hunaka. Hunaka. There. So, kam is your khabar and hunaka is your muftida. Kam madrasatan hunaka. So you will say hunaka like muftida and kam is your khabar. La adri bidapt. I don't know for sure. La adri bidapt. 
with accuracy, I don't know. But Al Madari so Al Madari so with Al Marfu Kasiratun. Why Kasiratun? Why not Al Madari so Kasiruna? Why not that Al Madari so Kasirun? Kulu Jama Monas. Kulu Jama Monas. So it became Monas Kasiratun. Should match. Huh? Should match, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Now, I think I have some time. I'll, I'll do a little bit more. And I'll close it, inshallah. Yes, I will do a little bit more and then I, I will end the lesson. Aina arada hamidun ain yadhaba. Where did Hamid want to go? Uh, wants to go? Where did, no, where Hamid wants to go? Where Hamid wants to go? Arada Hamidun and Yazhaba ila Nadir Riyadi. He wants to go to sports club. Aina Arada Hamidun and Yazhaba. Arada Hamidun and Yazaba ila Nadi Riyadi. Remember Nadi Riyadi, sports club. Bimaza Atal Hasnu, Phil Gurfatil Murakibi. What did Ata, remember Ata Al Hasnu, Ben Gurfati Murakib? Bimaza. So what did he bring? Ata Al Hasnu, B. Ata. B to bring here also B. What did Hassan bring from the room of the Murakib? Ata al Hasnu bit Tabashiri. Ata al Hasnu bit Tabashiri bin Gurfatil Murakib. Fine. Masmu Talibul Jadidi. Masmu Talibul Jadidi. Ismuhu Munirun. Min aina huwa huwa min Britannia. Huwa min Britannia. Did you get the idea, inshallah? Alhamdulillah. Now, all these things, we cannot do it, but we will do it from here. From here, we will do it, inshallah. We'll do it from here next time. All these things we are going to do it. You will do. It. We have done it in a way, but we will do it thoroughly, and then we'll do all the answers. You know, homework we'll do. I'll do part of it. Prepare myself. I knew it was going to take long time, so I did not do it. But I'll do next time because I have to prepare for tomorrow also. So we come here. We did here. Muftida wa khabar. Did you get the idea? Muftida wa khabar. Al Muftida who al ismu. Muftida is a ism. Al Lazi Natahaddasu Anhu. That we try to speak about it. Natahaddasu. Tahaddasa form five. Form five. Tahaddasa, not tahaddasa, to talk about or speak about. Mubtida, it's a ism, which we talk about it. Al khabaru, who al hadisu. And the khabar is the talk, which we complete, bihi, a fa'idatu. Now here, who al Hadithul lazi tatimu bihi al faida. Now it means, you know, that hadith which we uh, do it in a way which makes the meaning complete. Huh? Tatimu. Here it is. Let me let me increase it. Let me increase it. Is the talk which complete the meaning with it? It is the talk which 
which completes, I think it should be, is, which completes the meaning with it. Huh? The talk which completes the meaning with it. The timmu completes. Faida. Beneficial. Huh? Okay. Now, here's a beautiful example. Very beautiful example. Very beautiful. Al Kamaru Jamilun. The moon is beautiful, always beautiful, especially the full moon. So, what is Al Kamaru? Bafi had hil jumlati, nuridu and nathadasu and kamar. We want to speak, talk about the kamar. Nuridu and nathadasa and il kamar. Remember how the sentences are formed? Nuridu. And Natahadasa Anil Kamar. We want to talk about the moon. For Lafzum Kamaru, Mubtida, fine. And then Vanuridu Nakulu in Nahu Jamilun. And we want to say that it is beautiful. For Lafzu Jamilun Khabar. Did you get the idea? That is it, my brothers and sisters. Did you? Inshallah. For Lafzu Jamilun Khabar. So we will stop here and from here we will do all of these things. I, I don't think I have time. Maybe I'll do a little more, a little more. This is easy. Al Muftida wal Khabaru Marfuani. Yeah, yeah. Always remember. Always remember. Al Muftida wal Khabaru. Marfuani, they are both marfu. If it is not clear cut, then fi ma'ali rafa'in, marfu. Min ahkam il mubtida. Ahkam is the rules. Hukum, singular. Ahkam is rules from the rules of mubtida. Number one, anwa'ul mubtida, kinds of mubtida. Mubtida. Emma ismun sariun. We did this. Ismu sariun. Clear cut noun. Sariun, pure and adulterated. Al muftida emma ismun sariun. Wa emma master muawwal. Ah, that's it. It is clear cut. Or emma. Or emma means either. It is ismu sariun. Or master muawwal. Allahu Rabbuna al Kiratu Mufidatun al Julusu Huna Mamnoon Vanainu Tulabi. See, we all did this. And then, or number one, this is number one, and this is number two. Master Muawal and Tasumu Khairun Lakum. That you should fast, it's better for you. Very beautiful sentence. These are all from the Quran. Huh? All from the Quran. All from the Quran. Surah Al Baqarah. Wa an tafu, wa an tafu, akrabut lil taqwa. Your forgiveness to them. Your forgiveness to them. An tafu kum. You forgive them. You can say. Antafu Akrabu Takwa. That is the nearest to the Takwa. Closest to the Takwa is that we should forgive people. Somebody who is uh, has harmed us or done something wrong with us, we should forgive. That is the closest to the Takwa. If you claim that you have a Takwa, then we have to forgive people. We have to forgive, inshallah. That's it. No more, no more now. You know, we, we'll do all these things from next time, inshallah. I'm saying this and I'm continuing. <laughs> I just look at the watch, you know. No, I think that is enough now. Because, so my dear brothers and sisters, starting from next week, the time will be, we'll start at one o'clock. I hope you will all manage to come, inshallah.
Let me tell us one thing. Grant us Taufik to attend the class and Taufik to do the homework at home, inshallah. Make it possible for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your sacrifice of time to study and understand the Arabic language as hasanat in your scale of good deeds. May Allah bless you all, your spouses and your children with excellent health, barakat in your rizq, in your jobs, in your businesses, in your careers, in your profession, in your education, if you are still in university, in the education of your children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with a strong memory and deep knowledge of Arabic to understand in depth the message of the Quran so that we all feel the miracle of Quran in our hearts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten our homes and our families with the light of the Quran. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instill this light in our children. Ameen ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us all safe and protected from the evil of this virus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslim ummah all around the world, wherever they may be residing from the evil of this virus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the humanity at large from the evil of this virus. See you next Saturday, inshallah. One, two, three. Huh? Keep safe, stay healthy, wear masks, when you go out and observe physical distancing and the guidelines of the health authorities. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasanatam, wa fil akhirati hasanatam, wa kina azaban naar. Rabbana, hablana min azwajina, wa zuriyatina, kurrata ayunin, wa ja'alna lil muttakina imama. Rabbana, تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتوب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا see you next Saturday إن شاء الله one two three please keep it in mind one two three Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.